come. Joey, don't fight back. Run, Hi, it's Jenny Emanuel reporting for the fan carpet. I'm here in Leicester Square at the premiere of Jason Statham's latest film, Hummingbird, a tense psychological thriller. Later, I will be talking to Jason Statham and the director about the inspiration and why and how they made the movie. So stay tuned. Could you tell us a little bit about your character in the Hummingbird film? Uh, okay. I play sister, sister Christina. She's a nun. She comes originally from Poland, but she's working in in, uh, in London now since a while already. She takes care of homeless people at night when she doesn't have her normal duty anymore. She takes care of uh, homeless people, and that's the way that they meet. Joey and Sister Christina. Do you know why a hummingbird is called a hummingbird? Yes, I do, yes. It's a generic term for a, a military drone. <laughs> so it's like the all-seeing eye that uh, basically is, is the, uh, the thing that is haunting the, the character I play, Joey Jones, who's trying to come to terms with the, the, you know, the bad things that he's done. Uh, so it's, it's uh, that's what. I read that it's the fastest bird in the, out of all the other birds and its wings move at such a speed, it makes a humming sound, but anyway. Also correct. <laughs> in relation to the movies, it's, it's, it's a little bit off. Okay. It starts with just a random scene that I've seen. Yeah. And uh, it was sort of seeing some homeless people in a doorway with an iron staircase that led up to one of the most expensive uh, loft apartments in London. So there you have, in one moment, you have uh, the poorest and the richest. And uh, if one of those people walked up the iron staircase and broke into the flat, what life would they have? So that was the, the basic initial thought. So then I had to work out who the homeless person was, uh, what would they do, how would it go, and, and it's sort of almost like an investigation of what would happen as a consequence of that moment. The combination between the rich and the poor. And also hummingbird. Hummingbird is like the fastest bird um, of all the other, of all the birds, and also fly back. Was there a reason why you called it that? It's also a drone uh, that's used in Afghanistan. Um, it observes, um, you know, uh, the war. So it was. Here's a person who's uh, he's got a he's got a past. He's got a, a guilty secret, and it was observed by a hummingbird drone. And so he feels that in his mind, the things that he has done are observed and are known to this thing called the hummingbird. So how was it um, working with Jason and um, and Stephen? It was amazing. Okay. It was amazing. It was just the way I love it. It's more chills. Getting close and being really into the story and with a lot of energy and, and time. The biggest fan of? Yeah, like... Rosie Huntington Wiley just walked past and she's beautiful, so I have to say I'm a massive fan of hers. Okay. Was Jason Satan your first choice for the role or was there others you were, you were thinking of before? I mean, he, he has got an authenticity uh, and a strength that not many actors have. And when I decided to direct, I went to see a lot of the directors that I'd worked with in the past. One of them was David Fincher and he said that the only person he would cast in this role was Jason Satan, which okay. was interesting any stunts in this movie and if you are which was the hardest stunt that you had to do uh, I'm not a big sort of a this is not a, a stunt driven film obviously there's some there's a physicality to it and uh, obviously uh, I'm you know taking care of situations in a, in a physical way but I'm not doing any crazy mad stunts we save that for other films quite a lot of his movies. I quite like Boise gun movies. Um, yeah, I don't really, I'm not, I do like chick flicks, but I'm more into the like running around with guns and, and yeah, playing, playing with guns in Boise movies. So I guess that's sort of a different thing. I hope you enjoyed the interviews and come and join me for the next premiere. See you soon.